Hello once again YouTube and welcome back to The Domain. Today we're continuing our Jazzware World of Halo train with the Gungoose Gambit. <laughs> just kidding, this is just the uh, World of Halo Gungoose. The Mega Constructs Gungoose is called the Gungoose Gambit. Another example of like 343 showing specific uh, assets to Mega and Jazzware at the same time. We got a Gungoose at pretty much the same time and the same with the Shade Turret. This is a pretty interesting set, comes with the Spartan Selox. I remember covering this back when it was announced and I was always confused with Selox being uh, clearly a Halo 4 scout but having a different name. My best guess is that they want to keep the Halo 4 design as a new name and they want to use the old Halo 3 Reach assets as Spartan Scout. There is a lot to offer in this wave. Last time we had a look at three of these figures, the Jekyll Raider, Elite Mercenary and Hyperius. And look at that, Hyperius and Tavares also come in a three pack with an AC Master Chief. We also have a Cavalino Spartan and then we've got these two vehicles, the Shade Turret and the Gungus, as well as the Mantis not pictured on here. Let's break it open and you may notice that this has already been opened before. I actually bought this way back in the day. I was making a video on a promotion for Halo Infinite where if you bought anything from Target, you got a downloadable code for an armor coating. The ironic thing was the armor coating was blue, and my theory is always that the armor coating was passed on from Walmart when Walmart was meant to be doing some promotions for Halo Infinite a year ago when the game was delayed. So I think the game was delayed and then the armor coating was left over, so it transferred to Target and Target started distributing it. But yeah, we've got this Spartan Selox. What I'm seeing right now is pretty good. Yeah, the uh, weapons, I know this has been a big critique of Jazzware that the weapons are a soft plastic, so bend. I get the criticism for sure. They could definitely be a little stronger. And uh, that's that's pretty good, to be honest, for the three and three quarter inch wave. Like, that's not bad. And let's put him next to an elite. That's the scale of a Spartan next to an elite, ladies and gentlemen. Like, elites are massive, even next to a brute. You want to know how the Banished beat the Spartans on Zeta Halo? That's exactly But how. this Spartan is going to have some backup, as well as his nice knife, which unfortunately does not come out, but is still a great accessory. This Spartan does have a lot of nice detailings to it. Some very light silver dry brushing throughout, but mainly it's this blue armor with a black undersuit. It does have a surprising amount of light detailing running around sort of like the, the creature uh, of the armor, so that's a nice touch, and the shoulders could be one single color, but they are two. So I'm giving this a lot of positive marks. The battle rifle is a basic gray and black, but doesn't really need to be anything else, and the helmet also has a lot of colors working in. The visor could be a little better applied. It's starting to sort of uh, weather here, but it is a nice figure. Let's see if the gun goose can live up to the Spartan. Whoa, that fell straight out of the box. Literally just, the, the box just comes with a pre-built gun goose and that's it, which I like, no problem with that at all. Look at this bad boy though, this is badass. So much detailing here and actually like a really meaty, very weighty build. I'm very impressed with this. You can see the little studs at the back are for holding another Spartan. Or even if you wanna do a little bit of a elite Spartan co-op here. <laughs> this elite can just like chill on the back. <laughs> Not looking too bad there, honestly. Okay, so we'll attach the battle rifle into his back. Slots him with, uh, I was gonna say slots him with ease and then it just didn't. <laughs> oh, okay. Oh, look at that, see, it starts bending to the side immediately. A little more gentle with it maybe? Yeah, there we go. Battle rifle on his back. Let's see how he holds on to the gun goose. I think pretty well. Immediately, this was a criticism I had with the uh, elite mercenary. The heads don't really like go up on these figures. So you kind of just have them looking ahead. I would like him to look a little further up when he's driving. I just want road safety for my Spartan Selox, man. But he does hold on to that really nicely. A little bit too lent forward there, but I don't think there's any other option. This is good, this is good. The Gun Goose does have a lot of weathering. I wish I had the McFarlane Mongoose to compare this to directly, but I think this might be a little bit better, to be honest. We got some great printed detailing with the UNSC. Little UNSC logo there. We got some brown detailings on these little lights or switches, whatever they are, and a brown strip here where you can hold on to the back of the mongoose, which is uh, another great feature, I think. That arguably feels more natural than him even riding it. That's really nice. More brown detailing. We've got some nice silver on this wheel, like military green for sure, like UNSC green, but then silver even running on those rims on the inside. So that's actually really nice. And underneath, oh, we've got a great printed detailing here. No, that's just a random product code. The silver dry brushing is a standout feature there's a little bit of a, 
I don't know, that's like some paint or something on there. But yeah, this is really nice, guys. This is a really nice gun goose. White lights on the front there. This is all very soft plastic. This can be uh, super, super flexible. And honestly, for $20, I think this is a bang up job. The shade turret with grunt is also $20. I don't know, I've not built the shade turret yet, but I think this is a standout. A really nice adaptation of a vehicle that like, yeah, I, I still don't use it in Halo Infinite, to be honest. I would much rather just run around with a battle rifle and assault rifle than add Actually use these cannons, but I respect anyone who does. And 343 have done a nice job of integrating elements of their Halo games into the now Halo universe, which like Halo Infinite feels like a return to form, right? It feels like an old friend, but it does have things like the Wasp and the Gun Goose to keep it that 343 certified fresh. So thank you very much for tuning in today, guys. This was another video with the domain. I really hope you enjoyed this Jazzware review. Let me know in the comments down below if you've managed to bag this or if it's something on your radar. You stay awesome you stay safe as always folks and the gun goose is signing off <laughs>